Hello everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome to another Tag Tuesday. I am trying to get this out before it becomes Wednesday. Uh, I hope that you are all doing well. This is where I talk about the books that I'm reading. I like to read diverse books and I highlight Canadian literature. If you are new, thanks so much for checking out my channel. Please hit subscribe and stick around. Today I am going to do an original tag uh, that I'm calling Don't You Forget About Me book tag. This tag is inspired by Brian at Bookish. I will link Brian's channel below. Um, Brian recently did a video about five books he doesn't remember at all. I will leave that video below. <laughs> and when I watched this video, it made me think about books that I had forgotten and books that I'm hoping I will never forget. So I turned this into a book tag and I tried to keep it fairly simple. There's only four prompts. Uh, you can decide how many books you want to share for each prompt. Um, yeah, so here we go. Let's get this started. Um, so I'm going to share three books for each prompt. And the first prompt I'm calling Clean Slates. So the Clean Slates are books similar to what Brian was talking about. These are books that you know you've read, but you don't remember anything. If you were to read them again, which I'm not sure that you would, but if you were to, it would be a clean slate, like reading them for the first time. So the first book that I have for this is The Bookseller of Kabul by Asni Sayersand. Sayersad? Um, Goodreads says that I gave this book four stars. That's a pretty high rating for a book that I can't remember anything about. The title is definitely one that would pique my curiosity, but I can't tell you any details, any of the characters. Um, if you've read this, please let me know if I should maybe do a reread. The, should I refresh my memory or just leave it as is? Um, next up is a book that I rated three stars and it's The House of Gentle Men by Kathy Heppenstall. Now here I vaguely remember picking this book up. My guess uh, is that this is another book that the title captured my attention, but I couldn't tell you anything about it <laughs> at all. Um, the third book is actually surprising to me and it's Last Orders by Graham Swift. And Goodreads tells me that I rated this three stars. Um, this is a book that I know the title and the author. I feel like I should remember this book. I should know what it's about. And yet, nope, I got nothing. Um, I know it has been on my shelf for a very long time. Um, but like the others, I couldn't tell you even when I read it, unless I looked that up, um, or anything about the story. And, but this is one that I do think I will reread, and I'll explain that in a little bit. The next prompt is Genie's Lamp. And for this prompt, you can imagine that you have a Genie's Lamp, and this Genie Lamp is for books that you wish you could forget. Um, I don't know about you, but like, do you ever find that books that you didn't enjoy have a way of staying with you? You don't forget them? Um, I'm going to give myself three wishes for this prompt. If you've been around for a little while, you will probably guess at least one of the books on this. Uh, you won't be surprised that I am putting Quantum by Patricia Cornwell on this list because, gah, okay, that book, it was so brutal to read. Um, I didn't care about any of it. I found it very scientific and just, and unfortunately has turned me off of reading other books by Patricia Cornwell, even though, I have heard great things. I've heard so many good things about her other books. I've heard that they are so much better. So I do believe that, but I have no desire to pick them up. Uh, this next book I only read and finished because it was part of a book club that I was in. Um, and I could have almost fit it into the prior prompt because I don't remember much about it. Um, but like with Quantum, I did not enjoy this book at all. Um, it's the Autobiography of My Mother by Jamaica Kincaid. Also like Patricia Cornwell's book, 
this has not encouraged me to read more books by Jamaica Kincaid. No. Um, for my third wish, I wish that I could forget A Train in Winter by Caroline Moorhead. This should be a book that I would love. It's a book about women's friendship um, during the Second World War and their role in the resistance in France, I'm pretty sure. Totally my thing. Except that it totally wasn't. <laughs> it was so dry. And there was no real emphasis on the friendships at all. Um, it, was, it was so disappointing for me. The third prompt is Forgotten Gems. And I am going to share three Forgotten Gems with you. These are books that you might think need a little bit more love. So the first book that I have is an author that has already made this list. And it is Here We Are by Graham Swift. So this is the book that makes me want to reread Last Orders because I adored this story. It's just a really sweet, feel-good story in many ways. Um, it takes place during the vaudeville era, era, and it has magic, it has a love story, and it's a pretty quick read. Um, it's one of those books that, you know, when you close it, you just kind of sigh and maybe give it a hug. Um, you know, so it's just, it was a lovely, it was a lovely read. Um, another forgotten gem that I don't really hear anyone else talking about, not only the book, but maybe even the author. And that is The Particular Sadness of Lemon Cake by Amy Bender. Now, this is not the type of book that I would have normally read, especially at the time. Um, I can't remember exactly why I did pick it up, like what prompted me to do that, but I remember reading it during some of my travels in Poland in 2010. And this book in some ways now, when I think about it, has like Kevin Wilson vibes, who is an author that I started reading last year and really, really loved. Um, the main character in this can taste the emotions of the person who made um, the food that she's eating. So I thought that was a really interesting concept. And her brother is also an interesting character. So I would actually like to read more from Amy Bender. The third forgotten gem that I have for you is The Clay Girl by Heather Tucker. Um, I don't think I've seen anyone else talk about this book, um, but if, but it has, um, sorry, some of the most beautiful writing that I've ever read. It has a strong young female protagonist and the language is just wonderful. It's just the writing alone is worth checking this out in my opinion. So it's a real gem. The final prompt is forget me nots. So these are books that you know you will never forget. So for my first book, again, you won't be surprised. Um, I have to put A Prayer for Owen Meany by John Irving. This is a book that I absolutely adore. I love the narrator. I love the story. I love the characters, I, all the feels, both the laughter and the sadness. Um, it's one of my favorite books of all time, for sure. Second, I forgot to grab it. It is The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein. Again, a book that has a unique narrator, a good story, and all the feels. It's funny, it's sweet, and it breaks your heart. I mean, if you haven't read this book, I highly, highly recommend it. And for my last forget-me-not, I am going to say um, The Dutch House by Anne Patchett. This is a book that I adored when I read it. And then my love and appreciation for it continued to grow the more I thought about it. I thought the characters were so well developed. The house um, as a character is brilliant. You know, I love that. Um, the storyline is clever. I, I loved this book and it's definitely one um, that I won't forget. So that is the Don't You Forget About Me book tag. 
Um, I want to thank Brian for inspiring the tag and making me think of these. Um, if you are up to doing the tag um, and you've been inspired, please go for it. I am going to tag some other people as well to just get this out into the booktube world. Um, I'm going to tag some newer booktubers um, that I've been watching and enjoying and I will link uh, them below. So please check them all out. I'm also going to tag some booktubers who have been around for a little bit. Um, so please check them out as well and I will leave them linked below. So feel free if you want to do the tag, um, you are tagged. So um, again, you can pick how many books you want uh, to share for each prompt and feel free to change it up a bit for you if that works. Um, okay, so I'm going to tag Kelly at books I'm not reading, um, Catherine at Raspberry Reads, Shelly at Shelly Swearingen, Hillary from Book Bustle, Jack from Spread Book Joy, Scott from Gunpowder Fiction and Plot, Greg from Another Bibliophile Reads, Sandy from Miss Reads a Lot, Marilyn, Marilyn Maya Mendoza, um, Roz from Scal Scally Dandeling About the Books, Smitty from Smitten, and Max from Max Day, and Bob from Bob the Booker. Um, so please, if you choose to do the tag, you know, I would love to see your answers. I look forward to that. Um, if you don't have a channel, feel free to leave your answers to one or all of the prompts in the comments below. I look forward to chatting with you there. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and don't forget to make every day an adventure.